Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Got a pretty easy one from the Foo Fighters today. We're going to learn how to do their new one, Shame, Shame. So this is a pretty basic riff here. So this is going to be good for any even like kind of beginner level guitarist. Um, everything in here is pretty approachable. So this is going to be a pretty quick lesson. I don't know. I might, I might still figure out a way to make it a 25 minute long video because, you know, that's what I do. Anyway, so let's start up here. We're, we are in a standard tuning. Oh, before we start, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. And if you really want to support what I do here on YouTube with all these song lessons and everything, check out my Guitar Academy. You'll see the link in the description below. My Guitar Academy is what allows me to do all this stuff. Um, so, you know, th that link will give you a free seven day trial. Um, and as a member of my academy, you get full access to all my guitar courses, which gives you courses on complete beginner courses to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, a complete guitar tone course, everything. So uh, it's a, all video courses, all top of me, and you get personalized support from me as well. Um, like I said, and it's a great way to support what I do here as well. So please go check it out. So we are in standard tuning here for this song. And we have a lot of layering going on with extra guitars, and I think there's maybe even uh, some keyboards or, or whatever patch is being used that almost sounds like a guitar as well. Um, so I'm going to kind of give you a, a kind of a version I think would be good for just about two guitar players can do it, um, even though it might be more than that, uh, what they're using. Obviously, they, they have more than two guitar players. So let's start here with this basic riff first. <laughs> So that's kind of the the main riff of the of the tune. So that's just the the power chord at the fifth fret of the um, of the eight the of the low E string. So just that fifth fret on the low E, seventh fret on the A string. So you play that and then move it down two frets. So it's three on the low E, five on the A. So we have this. So you're kind of just killing it in between each one. So you want to make them a little bit staccato. And then we play a little single note riff, which is just um, five, seven, three on the low E. So we have this. Now you'll see, depending on what it is in the, the band, we'll play it like that. Oh, Pat Smear will play it like this. So it's the exact same thing, but instead of catching that B here at the seventh fret of the low E string, he does it here at the second fret of the A. So, so fifth fret on the low E, second on the A, and then back to the third fret of the low E. So that's the same exact note, sounds the same, but instead of play like this. So you can kind of choose which way you want to do it. All right, now when it gets to the verse, we hear that version of the uh, riff. So when Dave Grohl starts singing, we start hearing that, that riff again. But then we start seeing some higher lines added. And you start saying basically, you hear that added on top. And you also will hear this. Now those lines right there might be played. I know there's a little some keyboard. It might be a patch that almost sounds close to an acoustic guitar or whatever. Um, but anyway, what we can do is kind of combine those so they can be played. I don't see anybody in the band guitarist playing this specific thing, but it's a quick way. What when you get through the that riff and the verse riff a, a couple times, you start now hearing those higher added parts added to that riff. So if you want to recreate that sound too, it'd be like this. Like you have to play that along with. So if it's just one of you there, play that bottom one. But if you want, if you have two guitar players, about halfway through the verse, you start hearing this added to it as well. So I'm just giving you the option here. So that's the seventh fret on the D, fifth fret on the G. And then fifth fret on the uh, D, fourth fret on the G. So this. Then go back to this chord we just came from. Move that up two frets. And then back down to the, the four and the five. So I just. Like 
So it's just some kind of additional layers that are on the actual recording um, that if you want to kind of make it sound like that, you're going to have to along with this. All right, so I just want to let you know that's there, so in case you wanted to do it. All right, and then we get to, I guess this is the chorus, um, and we have this. All right, so now this is obviously, this is played differently too. So Dave Grohl will play it like this, and then Pat Smear will play it a different way, with mostly with bar chords. So I'll show you both of those. They, they generally do that. The, the Foo Fighters are really good. They have like three guitar players, and they kind of really spread out the guitar parts pretty well, and usually have a lot more going on than what's going on in this song. So we're kind of getting a break here. Uh, but he does play slightly different voicings of the same chords just to kind of thicken up the sound. So the simple way to play it, you'll see Dave Grohl do, it starts with just an A minor chord. To a G major chord. Now he goes, from there he goes to a, um, an F power chord. It's not a full F major chord. It's just an F power chord there. So it's just the first fret on the low E. Third fret on the um, A, third fret on the D, and then from there just to a D major chord. So they're all uh, like major or minor chords. Actually, that G chord can be played as a G power chord too, as well, which means you just eliminate the note that's on the A string, just mute that A string, and then instead of playing that B, and it kind of sounds like it too. So we have that A minor to the G. To this F power chord to a D major chord. Repeat. So what is Pat Smear doing there? So he's playing the same chords, but just different voicings, except from that F power chord, he plays the same one. So he's basically doing this. So that's just an a minor bar chord. So just a full bar at the fifth fret there. And you're going to play the seventh fret on the A, seventh on the D. Now from there, we're going to take it down to a G major bar chord. So a full bar at the third fret. And you can, you're playing now the fifth fret on the A, fifth fret on the D, fourth fret on the G. Try this. Now then down to the first fret, we're gonna play that same F power chord we did uh, in the other version, the way that Dave Grohl's playing it. So you'll do that same thing there. And then jump up here to the 10th fret here, do a full bar there. We're gonna do a D major here. So instead of D major here, do it up here. So full bar at the 10th fret, and you have the 12th fret on the A and the D, and 11th fret on the G. So we have that all together. All right, so from there we have, we go back to the same riff, uh, but there's a little single note thing that Dave Grohl will play with it. It looks like this. A little bit of distortion on it. I'm going to not really change any distortion here. So we have basically this.
So from there, we're just playing that little bending the seventh fret there on the G. And then the fifth fret on the G. And then the seventh fret there on the D. And then end it here over at the third fret on the A string. So the All right, from there, we're just back to the same chorus. It's a pretty simple song. Just goes back to the same chorus. Chorus, obviously, you can play them as bar chords like Passmere does as well. And then back into that same riff. Or. So it's a pretty simple track, um, for them at least. Um, and it's, but it's got a cool little groove to it and it's pretty catchy. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.